Hello, this is Frank, that one web guy of thatoneWebGuy.com. What we're going to do right now is we're going to show you how to activate a plugin. We're going to install and activate a plugin uh, using an alternative method. For some reason or another, sometimes uh, there's an occasion where uh, maybe a plugin will get corrupt and you can't add it via the traditional method. So you have to either have to delete it, reinstall it, reactivate it, or something of that method. Um, there's different reasons why this comes up and it's come across uh, for me a couple times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to do that. What we're going to do first is we're going to log into our cPanel account. So what I'm going to do is go to forward slash cPanel and it's going to redirect me to my login and put in my password and it'll take us to cPanel. So what we're going to do is then go to file manager and public HTML we're going to go to WP content and our plugins because that's where all of our plugins are. Now you can see that I have a lot of plugins already installed here. And uh, I'm just going to add a different one. This is a test site. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one. I've already downloaded it, but I'm going to show you where you can get your WordPress plugins in case you need them. So we're going to go to WordPress.org. I'm going to go to plugins. And we're just going to type in CSS. That's what I'm going to look for a CSS plugin. And we're going to do WP Add Custom CSS. Uh, I like that because you can add custom CSS to a particular page or post or even site wide if you prefer. Some themes do not have that option available per page. And sometimes you just need to customize something. So you would click download and it's going to download and already it's going to have a second copy of it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to File Manager and we're going to upload this. Now you could do it via FTP if you're familiar with FTP, but I'm going to assume that you know we're just going to use this method because it's quickest, easiest, and we don't have to install something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Upload, and I'm going to select the file, and it was WP Custom CSS Add Custom CSS. So we're going to grab this one here. It's going to install pretty quickly here. It's already installed, so we can close this tab as it already has. It opened up a second tab when we. Uh, clicked on upload. So we're going to reload now so we can reload or refresh the page and want to make sure that the uh, file is there which it is down here at the bottom. Now I'm going to right click on that file and we're going to extract and it's going to extract that file into its own folder. We're going to click close and you can see if we reload the page again that we should have it down here at the bottom WP Add Custom CSS. So I'm going to do a little uh, janitorial work and we're going to remove this file. I'm just going to delete. I'm going to click skip the trash. I'm not going to need it again. No sense putting it in the trash to restore it later. Um, so that's done. We're done with that part. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and manage the database. Now I know that sounds a little scary to some people, but we're going to go back here and normally you would go to the database sections and you see MySQL databases. Well, that's just where you create and add usernames or users to the database who has access and things. But we're going to go to PHP My Admin. That's where you actually manage and work with the database. Now we only have one WordPress install here, so it has to be this one here. I'm going to click it and we're looking for the options table, which is it has this here. And then we're going to go to rows and we're looking for uh, the one that's called active plugins. So it's on page two generally, depending on what's installed. But we have one here called, uh, where is it, Active Plugins? It should be right here. Right here, Active Plugins. Um, now, I've, I, obviously, I've turned off some plugins to make it easier and, and cleaner to understand what's going on. So I wanted to explain real quickly here. We have A, which is the how many plugins are active, A1. And then we have an item, zero, and then the uh, one plugin that we already have installed or active. Um, it starts with zero and goes from there. So the next one would of course be one. So I'm going to uh, make our work a little bit easier. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to highlight it and click Control C on my keyboard and then hit Control V to paste it. I'm going to change this to the number one. So we're going to increment that one. And I want to make our active set to number two since we have two plugins active. Now we'll need to know what our path is. And I'll explain what this S is in just a moment. That's actually the uh, string of the number of text or the number of characters that's in between the parentheses there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to File Manager and we're going to see what the folder name is. And the folder name was WP Add Custom CSS. Now if we click on that, we can actually highlight it 
I'm going to hit Control C again on my keyboard, and I'm going to replace this first half with that. That way I don't have any typos so that we can be exact as to what it is. Now we need to know what the uh, PHP file is that it needs to activate. So we'll go back to our file manager. We're going to uh, double click on the folder icon here, and we see that there's only one PHP file, so it has to be this one. So we're going to double click on that, Control A to highlight it, and then Control C, and then we'll come back here and we'll highlight where it says akismet.php. We're going to control V over top of that and we have our full path then. Now as we said we the string number, string number 19, we need to count to see how many characters we have between the uh, quotations. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So we'll change the 19 with a 46 and cross your fingers that all goes well. We'll click go here. And we should be able to log into our WordPress site then and have two activated. My WP tips, and we'll go to WP admin. I may be already logged in. I am. So we'll go to plugins, and I should have two active. So if I just click on the active, you see that we have our Kismets uh, plugin, we have our WP add custom CSS, so that we've been able to activate it. Um, via the back end without having to try to do it from the front. As I said, sometimes uh, there's some things that, that uh, act quirky. Um, maybe the site was hacked. Maybe there's just something uh, corrupt in the file system uh, that won't let you add it this way. So this will allow you to do that uh, exact step. Um, I hope you found this video useful, and I'll be back with another video. If you have any questions, if you have a video that you'd like to see, um, just hit, hit me up on my website and uh, frankgerdiff.com or that one webguy.com. Either one will get you there. And I'll see what I can do about adding a video just for you. Thanks.